Okay, this video is going to make use of all the skills we've covered over the last few, and what we're going to do is we're going to start to write our own story. There's a couple of new bits in this, and I'm going to go through this as we start. But to begin with, we're going to go to File, New File, because we're creating um, another example of the non-interactive window. And I'm going to save this one as Text Adventure. Now, back in the 1980s and 1990s, there used to be books where you'd have a die with the book and you'd roll the die, and when you've got a number, it would give you different outcomes in the story. And that's kind of what we're going to do here. We're going to have a story that develops, and at various points in the story, there will be choices that the user will have to make. In order to do this, though, we're going to have to import a new module. This isn't something we've done before. So, what we're going to say, right at the beginning of this, we're going to say import. And the module we're going to import is time. Now, one of the nice things about Python is there's some pre-existing modules. And those pre-existing modules allow you to make use of coding without having to rewrite the whole thing. And what time lets us do in this case is it allows us to put pauses in so things happen a bit slower. So we're going to import time. If you want to put a comment on that, you can. This allows us to make some of the slower. Now the story starts very simply. It's just a whole series of print instructions. We're going to say print and for the purpose of this one I'm going to keep it fairly basic. There once was a blonde cat called Pearl. She lived with her two sisters in an old run down house. Remember, every line you finish needs to have the right number of brackets on. Press enter. Print. One day when she was in her house, she heard a string. If I run this to start, this isn't going to be very interesting. What you should see is all the writing appears at once. So we can make this a lot better if we make use of this time module that we've already come across. If I add a line in between there and I say time dot sleep and I put two. Two is the number of seconds. So if I change that to one, it will happen slightly faster. And if I go run and run module again, again pressing OK to save it, you'll see the first line appears gives you a chance to read it, and then the second one appears. So if a story is intended to apply a little bit better, okay, so I'm going to do the same again here. I'm going to go time.sleep2. Sometimes I copy this and just paste it as I go through to make it be easier. Now, your story will hopefully have a little bit more information on than mine, but you don't want to watch me writing line by line forever. So I've got an opening. Now we need a choice. And as in the selection video, we need to use the integer inputs to do that. So we're going to give a variable called choice. There are probably better options, but we'll start with that one. So choice is an integer input. So we need to watch for those double brackets. And we need to give her a choice. So we could say, should she go outside and see what the noise is? If so, press 1. If she should stay inside, press 2. Close the brackets and press enter. Now, this is again where we need to make use of the if statement. So we can say if choice, because that was the variable, equals equals 1. Then we want to print a choice out. So we can say print. sneaks through the door carefully and sees a huge bear lurking outside. Or we can give the second option which is elif choice equals equals two print Pearl 
smuggles up safely with her sisters. Okay, so if I now run this module, it's not a very interesting story yet. Let's see what happens. There was once a blonde cat called Pearl. She lived with her two sisters in an old run-down house. One day she was in her house, and perhaps she'd go in there, she heard a strange noise outside. Should she go outside and see what the noise is? If so, press 1. If she should stay inside, press 2. So if I press 1, Pearl sneaks through the door carefully and sees a huge bear lurking outside. Or, if we run that again, and wait for the code to finish, and press 2, we get a different response. Now, it becomes more interesting if we now give some other options. So, 2 could be a dead end. That could be where the story finishes. Nothing would really happen. She's avoid, avoided a chance for an adventure. But under 1, if we go back to here, we can offer another option. So, we're going to indent this, and we're going to create a new variable. So, we're going to say that, call this one bear, because it's about the bear. And we do just like we did before. So bear is an integer input. And you'll see it's lined up with print because this only appears if choice one selected. So bear equals an integer input. Um, should curl approach the bear? And again, like on the previous ones, press one to approach or two. To sneak past and see what he is doing. And again, we're going to press full stop just for good punctuation, close the speech marks, double close the brackets, and press enter. And then we've got if bear equals equals one as an option. And again, we need to have some print, a bit of text here, so we could say. Well, walks up to the bear and you can decide what's going to happen at that point or elif bear equals equals to print pearl sneaks around the bear and watches as he and you can decide what happens there. And again, one of these might be a dead end, but another one might have a new choice under it. So you can increasingly get further and further indented into the program. But it should become more interesting because on each level you can have a new choice. Let's try this. Let's go run the module. Now remember, if we press 2, nothing's changed there. That will just end the program. So let's do that first. Okay. Not very exciting, but it ends. It's a dead end within our program. If we run the program again, run the module again, and this time select one on the first option, which is where she goes outside, we've now got two new choices. We can approach the bear with one, but we haven't finished the coding. Or we can press two and get a different response. And this is the trick now, to try and make a story that's interesting and develops with multiple options and making sure as we go through it, we match our indentations so that each one lines up. So these ones all run at the start. These ones only happen after choice one. These ones only happen after choice one and one of the choices that comes after it.